I am Alien. I have lived with progressive MS for many years. I will share with you some of the exercises that has been helping me to actually improve my functional level. Because if you experience, like I do, that your legs are unstable, that your balance is bad and that you get muscle fatigue when you exercise for a long time, you need to make adjustments. This is both because we need to isolate the muscle we want to exercise when the others are weak and we need to be totally safe from harming ourselves if we fall when we exercise. The most important muscle to be able to stand up straight, to walk forward and to be able to sit down in a controlled matter and get up from a low chair or a bed without dragging yourself up. This is the gluteus maximus or our butt. When we strengthen this muscle, everyday life gets easier and we prevent back pain. And when we are not able to do the exercises that normal people can do, we need the adjustments. I always make sure that I can hold on to something so I won't fall. And then I try to find the easiest way to do just 10 repetitions on each leg as often as I can. This is the easiest way. Just resting one leg behind you and the leg that you are standing on, that you are pushing upwards, that is the leg with the muscle you are working. This is an even more effective version of this exercise. I learned it from my physiotherapist. She has this professional slider thing you put your feet into, but you can just use an ordinary soft sock and slide backwards. And in this case, I'm working on my left leg while I'm sliding my right back. And as I get stronger, I can get deeper. You can't do anything wrong with this exercise, but it will be smart to try to point your knees as straightforward as possible. This is also a perfect exercise to do when you are visiting your parents, for example. The last version of this exercise is called Bulgarian lunges. The point is that you are resting your leg behind you on a chair or a bed, for example and then you are able to totally isolate the standing leg so this is the only muscle you work on. And if you struggle with spasticity, it's very useful to have a soft surface to rest your leg on. And if you, like me, struggle to lift your leg backwards when you're tired, it's useful to have a lower surface that's easier to reach up to. This is three different ways you can isolate one leg and strengthen your gluteus maximus. And the point is that in 80 seconds you will probably be able to do 10 repetitions on each leg and that might be sufficient for this day. If your gluteus is really weak you may want to do what they call squats on a chair. Place a chair behind you. The higher the chair the easier the exercise. The point is that you need to be able to raise yourself from the chair. And if you are really weak, you start by just sitting down very, very, very slowly. And when your muscle collapse, you just fall back in the chair. This is something we should do every time we sit down on a chair. But do it as often as you can and you will soon see results. After a while, you are getting stronger and it will be easier to also get up from the chair. Subscribe to my channel and you will get notification when my next video is released. <laughs>